What's going on, people that love to watch unusual facts? Hey, welcome back. And today, these are 13 famous child prodigies and the amazing things they've done. So without any further ado, as always, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to like it again, hit the like button. Number 13. The Hungarian chess grandmaster, Judith Polgar. Born in 1976, she began playing in tournaments at the age of 6, and by the age of 11, she had defeated her first grandmaster, Vladimir Kovacevic. She became the best female chess player in history. No other female has ever won a game against a men's chess world champion. She has beaten 9 of them. Number 12. Jean Francois Champollion the secrets of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics might have never been revealed if not for the former child prodigy Jean-Francois Champollion. Born in France in 1790, he displayed a natural talent for languages from an early age and went on to master Latin, Greek, Arabic, Hebrew, Syriac, Sanskrit, and Coptic by his mid-teens. Champollion presented his first academic paper at 16, and by 19, he was already teaching history at a school in Grenoble. In the early 1820s, the young polyglot turned his attention toward deciphering the mysteries of the Rosetta Stone. He soon became the first philologist to recognize that the symbols of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics were both pictographic and alphabetical, a breakthrough that proved to be the key to cracking the code of a long-lost language. Number 11. British philosopher John Stuart Mill, 1806-1873. John learned Greek at age 3 and had read all of the Herodotus histories and was quite familiar with Plato's dialogues by the age of 8. He was also more competent in Latin and Greek and had read through most of the major Latin and Greek works in their original languages by the age of 10. Number 10. Korean Mega Genius Kim Ong Yong Born in 1962, he could have had conversations at six months, could read in Japanese, Korean, German, and English by the age of four, and could perform complex calculus by the time he was five. From the ages of three to six, he set in on university physics courses. The Guinness Book of World Records recognizes Kim as having the world's highest IQ, which is estimated to be over 210. Yowza! Number 9. Actress Anna Paquin Born in 1982, won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her debut acting performance in The Piano when she was just 11 years old. Now why are we choosing to showcase Miss Paquin here instead of the youngest Oscar winner in Tatum O'Neill who won at age 10? Well, Anna now plays Sookie Stackhouse on HBO's True Blood, which only serves to enhance her general awesomeness. Number 8. Wolfgang Adamatis Mozart, the, the Austrian-born worker kind, first took up the harpist chord when he was just three years old. He composed his first piece of published music at age five, and by his teen years, he had already written several concertos, sonatas, operas, and symphonies. Mozart and his sister Maria Anna, herself a musical prodigy, traveled widely throughout Europe exhibiting their talents in rural courts and public concerts. From Bavaria to Paris, audiences marveled at the boy wonder's ability to improvise and play the piano blindfolded or with one hand crossed over the other. During a 1764 stopover in London, he was even tested and examined by a British lawyer and naturalist named Danes Barrington, who was awestruck by the eight-year-old's ability to sight-read unfamiliar music in a most masterly manner. Mozart would eventually grow into one of Europe's most celebrated and prolific composers. Before his untimely death at age 35, he wrote more than 600 pieces of music. Number 7. Canadian hockey star Wayne Gretzky Born in 1961, was playing against 10-year-olds when he was only 6. The uniforms intended for the 10-year-olds were far too large for the undersized Gretzky who tucked his sweater into the right side of his pants, a tradition he continued throughout his hockey career. When he was 10, he scored an incredible 378 goals and added 139 assists in just one season. Athlete prodigies need love too, you know. Number 6. Enrico Fermi Before his work on radioactivity won him the Nobel Prize and helped usher in the nuclear age, Enrico Fermi was considered a mathematics and physics prodigy. 
The Italy native showed signs of having a photographic memory as a boy, and by age 10, he was spending his free time mulling over geometric proofs and building electric motors. After his brother died unexpectedly in 1915, 13-year-old Enrico dealt with his grief by burying himself in books on trigonometry, physics, and theoretical mechanics. He then applied to the University of Pisa in 1918 wowing the admissions panel with a doctoral level essay that solved the partial differential equation of a vibrating rod. Fermi achieved his post-secondary degree from the school of several years early at the age of just 21. He later conducted groundbreaking experiments in neutron bombardment and nuclear chain reactions before becoming one of the lead physicists on the Manhattan Project, the secret research program that developed the atomic bomb. Number 5. Indian Mental Calculators Somani Prishani, born in 1998, took home the overall title of the most recent Mental Calculation World Cup in 2010 when he was just 11 years old. Her specialty? Square roots from 6 digit numbers up to 8 significant digits. Somani plays first. A couple of other events at the MCWC. Addition of 10 numbers of 10 digits each. Somani plays second and multiplication of two numbers of eight digits. So Monty plays second. Yes, her competitors were grown folks. Number four, Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz. Born in Mexico in 1651, Sor Juana Inés de la Cruz learned to read as a toddler and quickly blazed through all of her books in her grandfather's library. Despite being denied a formal education because of her gender, she began writing religious poetry at age eight and later taught herself Latin, supposedly mastering it in just 20 lessons. By her adolescence, she also studied Greek logic and learned an Aztec language called Nahutal. Juana's reputation for her genius later won her a place as a lady-in-waiting at the Viceroy's Court in Mexico City. When she was 17, she was famously tested by a panel of 40 university professors, all of whom were shocked by her deep knowledge of philosophy, mathematics, and history. The formal child prodigy entered a covenant at age 20 and spent the rest of her life as a cloistered nun. She continued her studies, however, and eventually established herself as one of the 17th century's most popular authors of drama, poetry, and prose. Her image now appears on the 200 peso bill in Mexico. Number 3. Blaise Pascal Born in 1623 in France, Blaise Pascal spent his youth being privately tutored at home by his father. The elder Pascal banished mathematics texts from the house to ensure the boy focused on languages. But by age 12, young Blaise had secretly invented his own terminology and discovered nearly all the geometric proofs of Euclid. His mathematical genius only grew from there. At 16, he produced an essay on conic sections so advanced that the famed philosopher René Descartes was convinced his father must have ghostwritten it. By 19, he designed and built a mechanical calculator known as the Pascaline. Pascal went on to publish papers and conduct experiments on everything from fluid mechanics and perpetual motion to atmospheric pressure and the philosophy of religion. Before his death at the age of 39, he developed his famous Pascal's Wager, which uses probability theory to argue for belief in God. Number 2. Arthur Rimbaud Vagabond poet Arthur Rimbaud is often held up as one of history's few examples of a literary prodigy. An award-winning student, the Frenchman published his first work in 1870 at the age of 15 before running away to Paris and making his name as a writer and rabble-rouser. Rimbaud produced his early masterpiece, The Drunken Boat, when he was just 16. He followed that up three years later with A Season in Hell, a hallucinatory prose poem that helped set the stage for the Surrealist movement. Along the way, he engaged in a drug and alcohol-fueled love affair with fellow poet Paul Verlaine and won plaudits from the likes of Victor Hugo, who supposedly dubbed him an infant Shakespeare. While Rimbaud's work would later influence Jack Kerouac, Bob Dylan, and many others, the teen phenom stopped writing altogether at age 20. He later roamed through the Middle East and Africa and worked as a trader and gunrunner before dying from cancer at the age of 37. And number one, German-born musician Clara Schumann didn't speak until age four. But by the time she was seven, she was already spending up to three hours a day mastering the piano. She began composing her own pieces at 10 and made her concert debut in 1830 at the age of 11. In 1831, Schumann embarked on the first of several tours of Europe, where she won acclaim from the likes of Chopin and Lisette, 
and astonished audiences with her ability to play from memory. The young virtuoso later married fellow composer Robert Schumann in 1840, but defied convention by continuing to write and perform even while raising her children. By the time she died in 1896, Schumann had spent six decades as a professional musician and played more than 1,300 public concerts. Thank you for watching our video and please subscribe to Unusual Facts and hit the notification button so you can never miss any video from us. Thank you.